why I will never use, drink, or promote alkaline water. And no, it's not only because I have one kidney. Get out your tea, my friends, because we are about to spill it. I apologize if today's video is a little bit ranty, but we're gonna talk about alkaline water and why it's marketing BS is pissing me off as per science, because the truth is in the science. This has been popping up everywhere. People are spending their hard earned money on it and it is doing nothing at the least and being unhealthy, if not dangerous at the worst. Specifically, I go to a gym called 24 Hour Fitness because I can work out there all the time. And they recently installed some machines that make your water alkaline. And one of my friends was all gung ho on this alkaline water. Her name is Sangi, I love her, and she was considering actually paying for this. And she started to do some research and she asked me and she asked a few other people and looked online and she realized it doesn't actually work. But let me tell you, it is more than that. And specifically concerning what's happening in my personal life with my friends and what's happening online with people drinking alkaline water and getting SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth and other issues, I wanna break down the science of why this is not a good idea and therefore why you will not see me promoting it for any amount of money um, because it's really pissing me off. <laughs> so let's get back to the history of alkaline water. Where did this all begin and why is it supposedly healthy? Well, the reason that people think alkaline water is healthy is because they're are some sources of water in the world that naturally have a higher pH. Now what is pH? pH stands for potential hydrogen and if we go back to chemistry we remember that there's this big old scale and this scale of acidity and basicness basically shows where different things lie. Water happens to lie at around a natural seven. Something like lemon juice is about a three and our stomach acid or battery acid is like zero to one. Things that are basic are like bleach at 14 and different substances can range differently on this scale. Now, our body likes to stay naturally acidic. If it doesn't, our blood automatically corrects it so that we don't die. <laughs> and it has done that throughout evolution for thousands of years. Now, the reason that people think that this high alkaline water is a good thing is because there are some natural mineral springs in places like France or other places of the world that are very healthy. People bathe in them and their skin gets better. People drink the water and their skin miraculously starts to clear or look brighter. And the reason why is not because the water is alkaline. It is because there are minerals in the water. We're talking minerals like calcium, like potassium, maybe even a little bit of copper, um, magnesium, uh, manganese, uh, even trace minerals like iron and zinc perhaps. And this is very healthy to people. Now naturally, those minerals being in the water cause it to be slightly more basic, slightly more alkaline. But this is where the problem comes in. Companies are not bottling this at the source. Companies are artificially making alkaline water and selling it to you at a pretty penny, which can do damage to your intestines. So somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I'm aware of, there are two ways to have alkaline water. One is water where minerals are added, therefore it is alkaline. And number two, which is what's happening in the market, is that companies are basically shooting this full of electricity, which through this uh, electrical process causes this to be artificially alkaline. Now here's why this is an issue if you start chugging these all day. Number one, your body is meant to be acidic. Your stomach, your intestines, your bladder, and your urine are some of the most acidic places in your body. And that's good because acidic environments keep out bacteria and microbes, which could destroy your insides. Now, what happens if you drink some alkaline water? Your body is smart. It doesn't make your body alkaline. It literally goes into your stomach where your stomach has to work harder to neutralize it. Think about it. Your stomach naturally is acidic at around a one or a two. If you drink this alkaline water, what does that do? An acid plus a base, they cancel each other out. So your stomach becomes neutral. Now what happens if you eat some food after you drink some alkaline water? Well, if there's no acid in your stomach, how is your stomach supposed to break this food down? Think about it, we chew our foods and then our stomach is supposed to churn it up and extract those nutrients or make those nutrients into a form that is extractable by our intestines. If you have water in your stomach because you have literally diluted all the acid, your stomach cannot break down those particles. It cannot digest food. So you have globs and bites of undigested, unprocessed food matter going into your intestines and your intestines can't break that down. 
Our intestines are meant to extract nutrients, vitamins, proteins, core minerals, and to be able to use those and send them into our bloodstream and into our tissues where they need to go. Well, guess what? <laughs> if you have big chunks of food um, or even small chunks of large proteins, your body cannot absorb those properly. And if your body cannot absorb them, they can actually cause issues within the lining of your intestines. Now, what happens if you get a hole in your intestine, if you've got Crohn's disease or if you have a gluten intolerance, maybe you have dealt with this. Not only can you get IBS, irritable bowel-like symptoms, which means <laughs> run into the toilet every five minutes, but on top of that, this can cause tears or issues on the inside of that lining. Our bodies are like a donut. We're not just outside and inside. We have like a hole going through us if you really think about it. And that's lined with bacteria and healthy microbes. Now, if a bunch of alkaline water gets in there and a bunch of undigested food gets in there, we can cause tears in that and then things get in. Large proteins that we eat that aren't supposed to be in there, uh, we can't extract nutrients properly. And naturally, if we're killing off the bacteria that lines the inside of our system, we can get small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, otherwise known as SIBO, which a lot of people have been talking about recently, um, and specifically people who drink a lot of alkaline water have been dealing with, <laughs> which um, you know is so unfortunate because these people are victims of an industry that is trying to make money off of them. Uh, I think these companies are trying to do something interesting so that they can stay relevant or whatever, but it is wasting people's money at the least and causing severe damage and health issues at the worst. Additionally, let's talk about electrolyte balance. Your body runs within a certain balance. And again, if your blood gets slightly alkaline, your body is naturally gonna correct that because you need to live. Your heart, if your heart doesn't get enough electrolytes, if your brain doesn't get the right nutrients and the right balance of these things, you could die because that is biology. Our body naturally runs acidic and that is healthy. Now, why did this idea of acidic is bad come to play? The reason why is because naturally, foods such as vegetables and fruits tend to be more alkaline by nature, whereas foods such as meat and cheese tend to be more acidic by nature. And as we know, some of those things are not so healthy. Uh, meat is listed as a class two carcinogen, proven to cause cancer. Um, and we all know that eating our fruits and veggies are supposed to be healthier. So therefore, people deducted that alkaline is good and that acidic is bad, but that is not true. The reason that veggies are good are not because they are alkaline in some way, it's because of the nutrients, the minerals, the macronutrients, and the vitamins inside of them. So yes, eating vegetables can help to balance out uh, a little bit of the damage that might be done from eating meat or cheese. But again, alkaline water is not a replacement for that. And just because these foods do different things does not mean they make our body acidic or non-acidic. Our body has a balance, it does what it does, right? These foods don't make our blood majorly more alkaline or acidic, and if they did, we would die very quickly. So that being said, that is why your girl will never promote alkaline water, will never drink it, and probably will not talk about it in a positive light in any time and place. And I will list some references below because I don't want you to take my word for it, I want you to do your research. But when it comes to marketing, it is this kind of thing that pisses me off because I see people hurting themselves, I see people swindled out of their money um, and as a conscious consumer and as somebody who believes in the science and thinks that we should all live our most vibrant best selves it pisses me off so thank you for listening to my little rant um, that is how I feel about that this was given to me I did not buy it I will not buy or support them and if you're drinking alkaline water and experiencing some issues this might be why so explore the science if you want another video on what I eat because I consider myself to be pretty healthy you can watch that here and if you're worried about skin issues we have a list of foods that you shouldn't eat in order to keep them under control. Hit the subscribe and notification bell for more scientifically backed videos, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one, right here. Love you guys. Bye.